Europe is on the brink of a huge decrease in population in the near future. This shift has already begun to manifest in various nations, particularly in Eastern and Southeastern Europe. And considering that many Western European countries have had a slight increase, because of immigration, you could say that population decrease is taking place all over Europe. In this video, we will use official data to provide a good analysis of the demographic challenges facing Europe today. 10. Romania with a mortality surplus of 15.5%, Romania lands at number 10. Despite strides in healthcare reforms, the country faces substantial challenges, particularly in its rural areas where medical services remain difficult to access. Romania's healthcare expenditure is less than 5% of GDP, far below the European Union average of 9%. This funding gap leads to several issues, including under-resourced hospitals and an over-reliance on inpatient care, while primary care remains underdeveloped. Another pressing issue is the outflow of medical professionals. Many doctors and nurses leave Romania for wealthier EU nations in search of better pay and working conditions, exacerbating staff shortages at home. Romania also has one of the highest rates of avoidable deaths in the EU, reflecting inefficiencies in healthcare delivery. Adding to the challenge, poor transport infrastructure in rural areas limits access to healthcare facilities. While urban regions enjoy better access to healthcare services, this stark urban-rural divide highlights the need for more equitable healthcare reform across the country. 9. Albania. With a higher-than-average mortality rate of 15.8%, Albania continues to face struggles in its healthcare system, especially in rural areas where access to specialized care is limited. Despite improvements in healthcare accessibility in urban centers, rural hospitals often operate with outdated equipment and a shortage of trained professionals. Albania is also contending with the challenges of an aging population, leading to increased rates of chronic illnesses such as cardiovascular diseases and cancer. The country's healthcare system is underfunded, and many medical professionals leave for better-paying jobs in Western Europe, worsening staff shortages. This exodus of healthcare workers leaves Albania ill-prepared to address the rising burden of non-communicable diseases. In recent years, the government has taken steps to improve healthcare coverage, including efforts to expand universal healthcare and strengthen primary care services. However, the gap between urban and rural areas persists, and substantial reforms are still needed to modernize the healthcare infrastructure and retain medical professionals, ensuring adequate healthcare for all citizens. 8. Moldova Moldova, with a mortality surplus of 16.7%, faces severe healthcare challenges. As one of Europe's poorest nations, it allocates a very small percentage of its GDP to healthcare, resulting in high out-of-pocket costs for patients. This financial strain often leaves those living in poverty without adequate medical care. Moldova also grapples with significant disparities between urban and rural areas, where access to healthcare is limited, particularly in remote regions. The healthcare system is further strained by outdated infrastructure and a shortage of healthcare professionals. Many Moldovans must deal with long waits and inadequate medical services, especially in rural areas. Moldova also faces a high prevalence of communicable diseases like tuberculosis and HIV, AIDS, adding further pressure to its already overburdened system. Despite some efforts to reform healthcare, progress has been hampered by political instability and economic hardships. The government has struggled to implement meaningful changes, leaving Moldova's healthcare system one of the least developed in Europe. 7. Croatia Croatia has a higher-than-average mortality rate of 18%, with its healthcare system facing numerous challenges, many of which are related to its aging population and the emigration of younger citizens. This exodus has led to a shrinking workforce, further burdening the healthcare sector. Although urban areas have well-developed healthcare infrastructure, access to care in rural regions remains a challenge. Patients in rural areas often face long waiting times for specialized treatments and must bear out-of-pocket expenses for certain services. Since joining the EU in 2013, Croatia has been working to align its healthcare policies with European standards, but progress has been slow. Underfunding and the migration of healthcare professionals to wealthier EU countries continue to be significant obstacles. The country is also grappling with rising healthcare costs due to its aging population, which demands more complex medical care. Strengthening primary health care and increasing investment in the medical workforce are crucial steps for Croatia to address these growing issues. 6. Bosnia and Herzegovina With a mortality surplus of 18.2%, Bosnia and Herzegovina faces a unique set of health care challenges, largely shaped by its post-war political structure. The health care system is fragmented along ethnic lines, leading to inefficiencies, duplications of services, and inequalities in access to care. Rural regions are particularly underserved, with many areas lacking basic healthcare facilities and services. 
In addition to its fractured system, Bosnia and Herzegovina struggles with high rates of non-communicable diseases, including cardiovascular conditions and cancer, which are major contributors to the mortality rate. Mental health issues stemming from the Bosnian War also continue to affect the population, further straining the healthcare system. Efforts to modernize healthcare infrastructure have been slowed due to corruption, political instability, and economic constraints. While some reforms have been proposed, the country continues to face significant hurdles in providing equitable and quality healthcare to all citizens, particularly those in rural and post-conflict regions. 5. Serbia Serbia, with a higher-than-average mortality rate of 18.9%, faces significant public health challenges, particularly from noncommunicable diseases like cardiovascular disorders, cancer, and diabetes. These chronic conditions place immense pressure on an already overstretched healthcare system. Underfunding is a major concern, as Serbia spends a smaller percentage of its GDP on healthcare than the European average. As a result, patients often bear high out-of-pocket expenses, limiting their access to essential treatments. The country also struggles with a shortage of healthcare professionals, as many younger doctors and nurses migrate to wealthier European nations in search of better opportunities. This brain drain has left rural areas especially vulnerable, with limited access to qualified healthcare workers. The Serbian government has initiated several healthcare reforms aimed at strengthening primary care and improving the quality of services, but progress has been slow. Serbia's aging population and underfunded healthcare system continue to pose significant challenges for the country's future healthcare development. 4. Ukraine Ukraine, with a mortality surplus of 19.5%, faces a deeply strained healthcare system, further worsened by the ongoing conflict in eastern Ukraine. The war has damaged much of the country's healthcare infrastructure and displaced a significant number of healthcare professionals. The healthcare system is still largely based on a Soviet-era model, which has proven difficult to reform and modernize. In addition to its conflict-related challenges, Ukraine struggles with high rates of communicable diseases, such as tuberculosis and HIV, AIDS, as well as non-communicable diseases like cardiovascular disorders. These health crises are compounded by the country's political instability and economic difficulties, making it difficult for the government to implement consistent healthcare reforms. Efforts to modernize Ukraine's healthcare system have been slow, but there are initiatives underway to improve access to care in conflict-affected regions and rebuild the country's medical infrastructure. 3. Latvia With a higher-than-average mortality rate of 21.6%, Latvia faces demographic challenges typical of many Baltic states. The aging population and emigration of younger workers have placed immense pressure on the country's healthcare system. Latvia's public health expenditure is below the European average, leading to high out-of-pocket costs for patients and limiting access to necessary treatments, particularly for lower-income groups. Rural areas are especially underserved, with significant shortages of healthcare professionals. Many doctors and nurses have left for better-paying jobs in Western Europe, exacerbating the healthcare workforce crisis. While Latvia has initiated healthcare reforms aimed at improving efficiency and reducing inequalities, progress has been slow. The country continues to struggle with balancing the needs of its aging population while addressing its workforce challenges, making it difficult to provide consistent, high-quality care across all regions. 2. Lithuania Lithuania, with a mortality surplus of 22.1%, faces significant health challenges, particularly related to cardiovascular diseases and lifestyle-related issues such as smoking and excessive alcohol consumption. These factors contribute to the country's high mortality rate, particularly among men. Although Lithuania's healthcare system is relatively well-developed, disparities between urban and rural areas persist, with rural populations having less access to quality care. Many Lithuanian healthcare professionals have left the country for better opportunities abroad, worsening the shortage of medical staff in underserved regions. Efforts to strengthen primary care and improve overall healthcare quality are underway, but challenges remain, particularly in retaining healthcare workers and addressing the healthcare needs of its aging population. Despite these obstacles, Lithuania has made progress in healthcare reforms, but the country's demographic and public health issues continue to pose significant hurdles for its healthcare system. 1. Bulgaria at the top of our list is Bulgaria, with a higher-than-average mortality rate of 22.5%. The country faces numerous healthcare challenges, many of which are linked to poverty and significant socioeconomic disparities. Bulgaria's public health expenditure is among the lowest in the European Union, leading to high out-of-pocket costs for patients and limited access to necessary treatments and medications. The country also struggles with significant health inequalities between urban and rural areas, as well as among different socioeconomic groups. Non-communicable diseases, such as cardiovascular conditions and cancer, contribute to Bulgaria's high mortality rate, and efforts to address these issues have been slow due to economic constraints and political challenges. 
Bulgaria's healthcare system faces the additional challenge of retaining medical professionals, many of whom migrate to wealthier EU nations. Addressing these systemic issues will require both increased investment and sustained political commitment to improve the overall health outcomes for the population.